Seymour, Indiana. Officer J.B. Hamblin answers a radio call about a stolen pizza delivery car. The victim in this case was a pizza delivery man who had walked from his vehicle with the vehicle running, walked up to a house to make a delivery. Officer Hamblin spots the stolen vehicle near an industrial park. I believe I got it in the parking lot down here. They know I'm behind him. Instead of pulling over, the driver speeds up, daring the officer to catch him. When I saw the driver weaving all over the road, I initially thought the uh, suspect was drunk. The suspect swerves crazily. He could be drunk or on drugs. Officers also fear this kind of driver may be suicidal and might swerve into oncoming traffic. Without even pausing to look for other cars, the suspect runs a stop sign. He's now headed straight toward a commercial airstrip. We're going to the one one. The airport is used by both cargo and passenger planes. If one should attempt a landing now, the results would be devastating. We're heading back to you. Watch it, 31. Watch it. The suspect cuts across grass to avoid an unmarked cruiser. I'm going with him. Don't get yourself hurt. An officer was utilizing a roadblock to uh, try to slow the vehicle down. Heading directly for the roadblock, the suspect picks up speed. Suddenly, he turns and narrowly avoids crashing into the cruiser. The suspect uh, chose not to slow down. Instead, sped up, nearly uh, hit this parked car head on. He should have slowed down when he had the chance. And when he came back on the roadway, he just never gained control of the car. Amazingly, the vehicle lands upright, but the impact snaps the rear axle like a popsicle stick. When a burly officer opens the door and yanks the driver from the car, he gets the surprise of his life. The driver of this car is a child, a 10-year-old boy. Unfortunately, the vehicle was dark tinted windows, couldn't see in the, in the car, couldn't see the driver at all. He realized that this person may be 90 pounds wet. The boy wasn't drunk and he wasn't on drugs. He simply didn't have the skill to keep the car driving straight. We more contact uh, intake. We have a juvenile J3. Because of his age, the suspect was not charged. But his parents will make sure he won't go joyriding again. I couldn't believe that a 10-year-old fled from me in a car. Was able to drive the car, to reach the pedals, to reach the shift, the clutch, and able to operate the car the way he did. This may be the youngest pursuit suspect ever. He's certainly one of the smallest, and definitely one of the luckiest.